destination is on your left. 1951 Bond Street. Welcome. This is part two of the welding slash utility car build. In this video, I'll get into painting assembly, final assembly, as well as a couple of end user mock ups to give you an idea of uses for a car like this. So let's finish it up. Now that I've got my legs and my shelves repaired, I'm gonna take and put this back together and kind of mock it up so I can see how I'm gonna do my wheels and my casters. So here's my casters and wheels. Uh, these casters were in the scrap bin at work. Uh, gonna be thrown away. And these tires are off those uh, forced air uh, kerosene heaters. And these were also in the garbage. Now that I have that mocked up, it's time to mock up my handle. And to do that, I think I'm gonna weld a piece of angle line here and here and bolt the handle to it so that it'll swing down and hang down about right in here. So here's the layout of my handle. I used some one inch angle iron for my mounting lugs and then some three quarter inch angle iron that's six inches long for the beams for the handle itself. Then I took a piece of heavy conduit and cut it about 15 inches long and I'm just gonna kind of weld it all together so that it looks like this when I get finished. And with that done, I'm gonna start working on the axle for my pneumatic tires. So here is the layout for my axle for my pneumatic tires. This is the original axle that runs through here and it was too short to span this distance. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna weld in a bolt right here so that I'll have threads on the other side and I'll be able to tighten this up. And I'm gonna put spacers in 
between here so that the tires won't rub up against the beams when I get it mounted. Now that I've got all my parts assembled, I'm gonna go ahead and start welding them up before I attach them to the cart. Here's my finished mock-up. I've got everything kind of loosely bolted together tack welded this that and the other now i'm ready to take it back apart finish welding everything sanding everything down and then painting and putting it all back together for the final assembly all right so i got everything painted and welded up now i'm just ready to assemble all the parts So here's my now assembled cart, and it turned out looking quite well. After I assembled the cart, I made up a couple of accessories just to show different mock-ups that I could use this cart for. Here's one set up as a welding cart. And here's another setup where I could use it as a pier cart and I even have a table that clips onto the back that I can take off and clean my fish on. Or I could just use it as a utility cart and in this case I've left the tabletop on there and put my wife's plants on there so I could roll them in and out of the shop as we try to keep them alive during the winter. So there is junk building my utility cart and the total build cost on this was two welding rods and a can of spray paint which you know, three or four dollars, everything else I had, as opposed to going out and spending 40, 50, 100, 200 dollars on a dedicated welding cart or, you know, pier fishing cart or even just, you know, a regular utility cart runs like a hundred dollars. So it just goes to show you that the old adage, one man's junk is another man's treasure, is actually true. So thank y'all for watching. We'll see y'all next time.